Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sun. Today we are going to be looking at all of the triangle centers, seeing and comparing how they're different, and figuring out how to identify them given specific information. Okay? So let's get into it. The circumcenter is going to be created by the perpendicular bisectors. So they take the sides and they cut them in half and they go straight up with a 90 degree angle. So it is found with the perpendicular bisectors. That is how it is created. But because these are the perpendicular bisectors, that is creating the triangles that are equal from the sides right here. And the sides would create this scenario where from the angle to the circumcenter and from the angle to the circumcenter and from this angle to the circumcenter would be equal. Okay? So the circumcenter creates that scenario. Now, I put a single hash mark here. I should have put one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, because we've already used so many hash marks. We've already used one, two, and three up. So I had to use the four, which is almost absurd. So perpendicular bisectors and the parts that are equal are from the center to the corners of the angle. So you cut the sides in half with a 90 degree angle, and it's from the center to the corners that are congruent. The in center, however, is created by the angle bisectors, or you cut the corners in half. So you gotta bisect each corners. It is created by the angle bisector. And the part that's congruent is here, from the side to the center, from the side to the center, and from the side to the center. The triangles that are congruent are from the corners as well, not from the sides. And uh, bleh, the centroid is n having zero triangles that are congruent. It is a little more recognizable because there's no 90 degree angles in it either. Notice how the other two had 90 degree angles. This one does not. So the centroid is found by just taking the sides and going straight up. It is created by the medians of the triangle, which is going from the midpoint straight to the other angle. Not straight up, but straight to the other angle. And it does create that special relationship where if this is 20, that part would be 10. It is half. Two times the short part equals the longer part. New one for most people is probably going to be the orthocenter. Orthocenter is kind of, no, it's, it's the weird uncle nobody talks about. Orthocenter doesn't have a lot going on. There's not much that it actually does. Um, it is the height of the triangle, which is kind of neat because if we were going straight here, that would be how tall this triangle is. So it's found by taking the heights. It's the intersections of all the heights of the triangle, which is also called the altitude. I like height of the triangle. It does have 90 degree angles because in order to go straight up, you got to go straight up being perpendicular to the bottom of it. And that is all that really characterizes the orthocenter. There's no congruent triangles at all. There's no relationship between the short and longer side at all. And it's just where they intersect from the heights or altitudes. Okay? So we're going to take a few practice problems and we're going to see which, if we can identify which is which. Okay? So here are some practice problems. We have to identify what's happening. And if we can identify what's happening, then we're going to be able to name that center. So we're going to call it the circumcenter, the centroid, or the in center. Let's figure out which one's which. Let's fix the zoom. There we go. Zoom better. So here, it looks like we took the angles and cut them in half. And then we got to figure out which one cuts the angles in half. And the angles are cut in half from the in center. So you'd have to go back to your reference guide and figure out which one cuts the angles in half. Here, the only thing we're given is that these are 90 degrees and it goes straight up every time. So which one has 90 degrees here and goes straight to the other side? So there's a few of them that connect the side all the way to the angle straight and that would either be the centroid or the orthocenter. The orthocenter goes straight with a 90 degree where the centroid doesn't have to. So this one right here is the orthocenter. Three. 
three. We took the angles. We or excuse me. Yeah, we took the sides. We cut them in half, um, and they're not with a ninety degree angle. So it's not going to be anything with a 90 degree angle. And that means that there's only one possibility. This must be the centroid because we took the middle and we went straight to the other angle. Number four. Here, we did take, we, we bisected the sides. So which one bisects the sides? With a 90 degree angle, perpendicular bisector is going to be the circumcenter. Keeping our triangles right along, here it looks like we have we went from the, the angles straight over and the angles straight over. So what I would suggest when you have problems like this and you might not be sure, draw the line that would make these 90 degrees and then determine whether or not the sides were cut in half or the angles were cut in half. So in this case, it doesn't look like these two triangles right here and here are really congruent. And it really looks like these are the ones that are congruent. And that means that this side had to have been bisected with a 90 degree angle. That means that this again is the circumcenter. And if we go back to our reference guide, that was what we established with our circumcenter that from the angle to the circumcenter is congruent. The in center, it's from the side. The side to the in center is congruent. Excuse me. Number six, it looks exactly like number four, or number three did. This is the centroid. You found the middle of each one and you went straight to the other angle. What about number seven? Hmm. Number seven doesn't have a lot of information here. And I believe that the problem meant to say that those are congruent. So if these are congruent, this is going to be the in center. And if I drew my line straight to the angles here, you can kind of see how these triangles that I'm making from each corner, these triangles, all of these ones coming from the corners here and here, they're going to be equal. This is by far the in center. And that in center, it's from the side to the center and from the side to the center is going to be the equal part. What do we got here? We got not cutting the sides in half, not cutting the angles in half. We are looking like this is the height of the triangle. We went with a 90 degree angle straight to the other corner. So this is going to be the ortho center. All right. So that's just a quick review of all of them and a little way to identify them and get a little bit more characteristics built into our like structure of what a triangle center is. Short video. Until next time, have a great day. Stay positive. I will see everybody later.